Good morning, church. Morning. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. We're excited for you. We're excited to celebrate you. So we're going to begin worship, though. So can you, uh, <laughs> happy Mother's Day, Jen. Yeah. She's coming in. You're good. <laughs> all right. Uh, so will you guys stand as uh, we begin to worship? To proclaim, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed as a great and mercy, His child and forever I am.
Dear Jesus, we thank you for another day to worship you. We thank you for just another day to spend time in fellowship with um, our brothers and sisters. We love you so much. We're so grateful for uh, being able to just celebrate Mother's Day and all the great moms out there. So, Lord, I just pray that you go before us, go before this worship team, go before Pastor Marshall. And, Lord, I just pray that you help us to just learn more about you and be able to just bask in the presence of your holy name and just be able to worship you for who you are. We love you so much in your precious and holy name. Amen. Search the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise, treasures that fade, I never enough. And you came along.
seated. Awesome. Oh, you don't have to wash your hands. I have so much time to myself. Hey, walk away when I'm talking to you. My kids really respect my privacy. When this timer goes off, please turn it off and do not tell me. Thanks. Here, can you use up all my battery? Don't call me when you get there. I don't want to know where you are. It is just too quiet in this car. Okay, we're about to leave for church, so if you're gonna make a huge mess, you better do it now. I don't know, your dad usually does everything around here. All of these people are such good drivers. Eating dinner is completely optional. Hanging up your towel is completely optional. Flushing the toilet is completely optional. Okay, this time, can you smile more like a crazed lunatic? Hey, you wanna dig through the fridge for the fifth time today? I'd definitely rather be here than at the beach. I am loving the look of these chips on the floor. I am loving the smell of your feet in my face. I am loving this back pain. Get a massage, ew, no thanks. Take anything you want from my closet and don't worry about putting it back. Don't look at the camera, look over there. If your sister takes your toy, just give her a good smack on the head. Hey, come drink that grape juice in here on the carpet. It's dinner time, everybody come get a snack. Hey, did you know you can wear the same pair of underwear all week long? Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, happy Mother's Day, and we know that there's a number of places you could be today, but you're here with us today. And we appreciate that. And we thank you very much for those of you that are here. For those of you that have uh, joined us online from across the country and wherever you're at, we appreciate you also uh, joining us today. And thank you very much for that. So I'm going to make you work a little bit today. So we're going to do a little bit of a trivia quiz. And, and uh, no prizes, no nothing major. But if you know the answer, call it out. So let's go ahead and with our first question. So who was the mother of Cain and Abel? All right, the answer is? Eve, good job. I even threw in the reference in there in case someone's challenging questions. Because we have nine more to go, and they're not all that easy. All right, number two. Who is the mother of Isaac? Yeah, Gomer, Mary, Elizabeth, and Sarah. I hear anything? Sarah. I hear some Sarah. Anybody else? Sarah. All right, the answer is Sarah. Good job. All right, so let's look at question number three. Who is the mother-in-law of Ruth? Your choices are Julia... Hulda, Lydia, and Naomi. All right, pretty well overwhelming consensus. The answer is? Good job. All right, let's look at number four. Who is the mother of Ishmael? I heard Hagar, I heard Rachel. Any others? What was that? You were venturing a guess there, uh, Ethan? Oh, okay, Rebecca, okay. All right, the answer is Hagar. All right, for those of you who got that right, good job. All right, this question number five. Who is the mother of Jesus? Bathsheba, Martha, Miriam, or Mary? Good job. See the answer on that one? Confirm the answer on that one for you. All right, uh, number six. Who is the mother of John the Baptist? Okay. Any other takers? All right, I guess we're going to stick with Elizabeth. And the answer is? Nice job. All right, number seven. Who is the mother of Samuel? You got the choice of Esther, Eve, Deborah, or Hannah. I hear Hannah. Anybody else? Anyone? All right, and the answer is? Hannah. Good job. Question number eight. Who is the mother of Jacob and Esau? You got Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, or Miriam? Anyone else? I hear Rebecca. Okay, the answer is? Good job. Let's go to question number nine. 
who is the mother of Joseph and Benjamin. So you got Rachel, Keturah, Anna, and Lydia. Rachel, did I hear another one? Okay. All right, let's go with uh, Rachel's our guess. Final answer. Good job. All right, and then number 10. Who is the mother of King Solomon? Any guesses? I hear Bathsheba. Anybody else? Bathsheba? All right, let's go. The answer is Bathsheba. Good job. All right, so um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to open up the microphone for uh, anyone in here that would like to share something. So you can share a favorite memory, or if you're a mom, you'd like to give some words of wisdom to a younger mom, or if you'd like to just say something as a tribute, I would like to give you that opportunity. So I've got my microphone runner coming up here to get a microphone. So if you'd like to uh, stand or raise your hand, and he'll uh, come bring you the microphone and um, give you that opportunity. And again, this can be a mom sharing words of wisdom, or if you'd like to give a tribute to your mom or a favorite memory, anything that you'd like. Just want to open it up. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> My son's passing out the mic to my wife. So I, uh, I had the best mom in the world. Um, she's watching online. She's in Florida with my sister for a couple of weeks. Um, and she's, I think she said she was going to watch this morning. But um, my mom was the best. And I actually thanked her this week because I feel like I am the mom that I am because my mom was just loving and selfless. Um, she was like, great at cooking, great at sewing, um, great at reading to me and loving me and telling me about Jesus. And um, she was just the best. And I like Mother's Day because it makes me think of her and it makes me want to be a better mom because my mom was absolutely awesome. So I just, I love you, Mom. <clears throat> All right, anybody else? Ken, you're standing, sir. Anybody else want to stand, raise your hand, want to say something? Um, so I'll make this mother related since it's Mother's Day. Um, I'm going through some stuff right now, and I'm able to get through that stuff because of my relationship with Jesus. Everybody has stuff, and we can all get through it with Jesus. And I have to give credit to my mom because when I was, I think I was eight or nine, is when she um, became saved herself and took me to church. And I think to myself, I don't know how anybody gets through anything in life without knowing the Lord. And I'm so grateful Amen. that my mom... Um, scooped us up and brought us to church and where would I be without without that Amen. good bad or indifferent we are who we are because of our moms many of you are here because of your moms I want to pay tribute to my mother she would have celebrated her 114th birthday just a couple of days ago and um, she I'm thankful for her, the Christian heritage that she has passed down to. She has 23 grandchildren, and I've lost track of the great-grands and the great-great-grands and the great-greats, whatever. I've just lost track. My brother had too many. <laughs> and uh, But the Christian heritage that she has passed down from generation, to, you know, and that is instilled in me and my, my siblings, and it has passed down to their families. And... Um, you know, without that, without that uh, uh, anchor uh, that we had as a Christian family, and she raised the seven kids to be Christian, even though my father wasn't a Christian until later in his life. She did it on her own. She made sure everyone was in church and was active in church, and I, 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 I really uh, appreciate my mother for that. Awesome.
I'm going to be on camera because my, my mom's watching from Florida, so. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Um, I just want to thank my mom uh, this morning. Um, I was in church the first Sunday after I was born. And every Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night, my entire life. And I just want to thank her for the legacy her and my dad gave me. You know, I'm just turned 57. And here I am on Mother's Day in church with my sister. And I know if my brother lived here, he'd be here with us too. But I just want to thank you, Mom, uh, for loving us unconditionally and showing us how to live a Christ-like life. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, Virginia. Anyone else? So I would have to say that my mom's the best mom in the world, but that's okay. <laughs> um, um, everybody on all of Gracie's sports teams, any of the kids, grandkids, they all, she's Mimi. She's Mimi to everybody. Um, Growing up, just unbelievably unselfish. Um, we were her everything and still continue to this day, and our children are her everything. And um, she doesn't rest in retirement. She comes to every single game, tournament. She doesn't miss a second. She doesn't, she doesn't doze off for a second or relax, relax for a second. She takes it all in. She loves them all, all of her grandkids, all of her children, intentionally, specifically. Um, she's amazing. And I can tell you that any single thing that I've ever done right as a mom is because of her. It's because what she has shown me, and still to this day, motherhood from, you know, having three, three and under to having three teenagers, there's all different things that go there. But she has been by my side every step of the way, every, there's a word of advice, there's love, there's compassion. Um, I don't know where I would be without my mom. Amen. Amen. Anybody else want to share something? Words, thoughts, memories? I don't know how this is going to come out, so bear with me. <laughs> um, I just want to thank not only my grandmother, um, but also my mother um, for, first my grandmother, for pioneering um, through the journey that she had um, of, again, raising the 23 grandkids, the seven kids by herself, um, which paved the path for my mom. Um, and I am, I always thought it was strange being one of the only kids in school um, that wasn't allowed to do things. And because our family didn't believe in it or our church didn't believe in it or anything, but no matter what, she never gave up. And when I went through my divorce, um, my mom told me, when I moved back, she said, you have to go to a church. And I chose this one. Um, and it wasn't easy for me to go back to church. But she never gave up. And I'm glad she did because I am not only thankful for my mom for doing that, but it gave me a chance to meet all of you guys and all of the moms here. And I thank you guys for being a mom to me. <laughs> And I can be a better mom to my kids. And um, I just thank all of the moms for not giving up. And even if on the hardest days, and even when it's hard, even in the future, don't give up. Keep praying for your kids. Keep praying for your grandkids, neighbors' kids, everybody. Um, but, yeah, don't give up. And I also want to um, give thanks to Mary for not being afraid to go ahead with the choice and the decision that God gave her to have Jesus. Because without him, 
I don't even want to think where I'd be, <laughs> let alone any of us. So, thank you. Anyone else? I also have the greatest mom in the world. <laughs> if you don't know my All mom, in one Geraldine. Place. Yeah, if you don't know my mom, Geraldine, we know her as Grandma Gigi. And if you don't know her, well, to meet her is to know her because she never met a stranger. She is a strong woman who's raised strong daughters. And we appreciate and love her so very much. I'm grateful every day for her grace. Um, she's perfectly imperfect. And because of that, she gives us tremendous grace, has raised us with wonderful values, and an incredible amount of fierce love. And for that, I'm very thankful for you. Amen. Get in, are you part of this? Oh, okay. What you got, Nolan? It's okay. It's all right. Go ahead. We're with you. You wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Anybody else? Oh, we have one. I remember my mother as also being the best mother. Wow. Obviously. And uh, my mom was fun-loving. She would keep us kids up late at night, like bedtime was not really part of the, the deal. So 11 o'clock at night, the ice cream would be broken into, chips, whatever, and it'd be like a party. We would just start laughing about the ridiculous things. I don't know, it was like we're intoxicated without any alcohol. Of course, there was no alcohol in the house, but um, it was just always a party time with my mother. Um, she was like the fun-loving uh, type of person. She would do anything for any of her kids and for anyone else. Um, very selfless. Um, she was a missionary. And at her funeral, um, it was packed. There was like 500 people in the funeral home. Um, everyone loved my mother. And uh, people would, would say, you know, she would just like sit down with me. I was in a, going through a rough time. She told me about the Lord, how to get saved and everything. Um, so, you know, she was just a total missionary type of lady too, but fun loving. Awesome. And speaking from experience, if you ever want to go to a party, the Degners happen to be able to throw great parties. So that must be where it came from, Dan. <laughs> all right, all hearts clear. Anybody else? Okay, one more. Um, I like to say my mom, I loved her a lot. She's not here with us right now, but um, she meant a lot to me. Um, it's because of my mom and dad that I started coming to this church a while back. And that's where I met Doris Evans. Um, she made it really easy to call her mom. If anybody knew her, they know why. And I had the privilege of having her live with me for a long time, it seems like. Um, but I'm grateful for the memories and everything. And every time I went by her room, she was praying. And because of this stuff and everything, I'm grateful to be here right now. Both my mom and Doris, they meant so much to me, as this church does to me. And one other thing, if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't be here right now. And, and I appreciate that. Hard to imagine many Sunday uh, Easter or most. Mother's Day mornings here without Doris. Bless her dearly. All right, anybody else? Okay. All right, so what I would like to do is I'd like to have, we have a little gift for the moms. So I'd like to have all the moms stand. And while they're doing that, gentlemen and 
kids, we need to give them a round of applause and appreciation. And then I have the kids that are going to be giving out something. So please stay standing. The kids are going to pass out a gift for you, and when you get your gift, you can sit down. Doors a basket. So, the moms that are still standing, you get to pick out of the basket whatever you want. A couple of things, three or four things, five or six things. If you haven't got anything yet, please stay standing. Emily's right behind you. She'll get it. She's right there. Okay. All moms get something? Awesome. Okay, so for those of you that got a mug, I have another little surprise. If you look at the bottom of your mug, of the box, and if you have a black magic or black marker on it that says one, two, three, or four, five, with a circle around it, please stand. All right. Okay, keep your hand up if you don't want to stand. All right, if you, you guys each get one of these flowers up front. So there's five flowers up here. So if you have one of those, you can come up now if you want, or you can get them later. It's up to you. Yeah, come on up. Or we'll have them delivered. Can you guys run these over there for them? Oh, they, they might have them. Sorry. I should have planned that better. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day. All right. While they're making their way back to their seats, if I could go ahead and have the ushers come forward, we're going to go ahead and do this morning's tithes and offering. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you so much. We thank you for how blessed we are. We think of the great times and the moments we had with our moms. And we thank you for those that are still with us. It's such a blessing. Unconditional love is all we know through you. The second best we could get is from my mom. Thank you for them and for their blessings and for their lives. Lord, we ask you to please be with our church, be with our ministries, be with the gift and the giver. And, and as we give our tithes and offerings, dear Lord, bless the money and the funds to further the church and the kingdom of God. We love you so much. In thy name.
you guys stand as we uh, continue just with our worship set? this morning.
tells us all to rise every morning and colors the sky with the shades of his glory wakes up with mercy and love Jesus does and who holds the orphan and comforts the widow cries for injustice and feels every sorrow carries the pain of his children Jesus does Well, amen and amen. 